Hello family, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be finalizing the animation of this event flyer. So let's start with in the last tutorial, we animated the headline. So we're now moving to the other layers. That's the TV, the photo, and the date venue layers. So let's start with animating the TV layer. Let's double click the TV layer. So here we have, these are the elements. Uh, uh, the actual uh, components of the TV layer. We have the TV and the audio spectrum. We'll be using the audio. There's a, there's a, there's an effect in the after effect uh, audio spectrum that we will be using. So before we do that, let's first uh, hide this. So we wouldn't need it. We don't need. We wouldn't need the audio spectrum from the our Photoshop file. So let's hide it. So now let's focus on the TV. Let's focus on the TV. Let's double click here on the old TV layer. That's the first layer, layer with the layer number one. Okay. So before we do that, let's create, let's create another layer. Let me hide this one since we wouldn't need it. Uh, let's, sorry, let's create a, something like uh, a square that will contain uh, the 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 video okay let's create a square let me undo it first of all make sure that the square has a fill doesn't matter the color but you don't need a stroke so let's undo the stroke so let's create a square. We'll make sure that it's behind the TV. It's behind the TV. And I will make sure, let's resize it. Let me zoom in further. Let's resize it. Unlock here. Let's resize the width. So let's resize the width. Let's also resize the height. Okay, let's use the move tool to position it here yeah, perfectly. Okay, so let's go into our. You also need to import some some files. That's the files for the video and other layers. So let's see. Let's see what you can import over here. So here in our project tab, let's double click here to import a video file. This is the video we, we, we will be using. Let's create a folder, name it assets to hold that video file. So let's drag it in. Let's press control forward slash to import it to our timeline. Okay, but before we move on, let's hide the video file at the moment. Let's hide it. I will want us to pre-compose the layer 3 and layer 2, layer 2 and layer 3, because it applied, you know, when you hide, let me just hide something to clarify something here. You see, we, we added a huge saturation to transform the color of the TV. We only want it to affect only the TV. You don't want it to affect the other layers. That's the, the video and the shape layer here. So what we need to do, we need to pre-compose the layer 2 and 3. So let me unhide it again. Let's press Control shift c Let's rename it as TV. say tv old one okay okay fine now let's drag our video down here let me unhide the video okay now we need to resize this the video let's press on scale it is it down let me zoom in further so we see the changes we are applying here 
let me drag it here let's further reduce the size okay this size i think is appreciable so now let's apply a track mat to it let's apply a, an alpha mat okay let's drag it down a bit let's increase the size a bit let's see what we have let's say to 49 let's see okay it's quite good sorry 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 okay let's see if we can remove the lock and increase the height to 49 let's see yeah let's try that let's make it 50 because i can see some spaces here let me zoom in okay let me change the resolution to full so we see what we're doing okay okay i think it's okay for now yeah so let's lock it back let me zoom out let's okay let's maintain the resolution of half so we see what we're doing okay perfect so with that said and done uh, let's apply our animation no i think we need to we will need to uh adjust the video in terms of uh, where the focus is centered so let's double click here in the project tab let's move the point here to where we have uh, don moin okay i think here is fine it's fine let's click on this button that's it let's set our in point and also our out point let's let's track okay let's set here to as our out point okay let's close this tab so on the TV let's press home on our keyboard let's close this one okay so now let's move we need to adjust the uh, where the video is where the tv is okay let's uh double click here remember we are using uh we we are working on the layer one that's the old tv this is our video so let's you can see that in our in points we have nothing playing here so what we need to do we need to move it out to where we have let's move it to where we exactly have okay to this point where we have done more in the video okay it's fine okay cool so now what we need to do is we need to add our audio spectrum let's add our audio spectrum by adding an adjustment uh, layer let's go to, let's right click here on an empty site new adjustment layer let's drag it down let's drag it down uh, let's go to our effect panel and search for audio spectrum audio spectrum as the first one let's drag it to right onto the adjustment layer right onto the adjustment layer okay let's uh, move it down here let's move the other side to down here uh, let's zoom in further okay but before we see our audio sorry let's be careful when you're working on our audio spectrum let's click here again okay let's click it so we see we have our point is our start point and our out point at least but before we can see our audio spectrum we need to to add uh, to duplicate the video again let's duplicate the video 
again or let's go back to our projects panel drag it here again let's drag it down to where we have our audio spectrum you see when you add our audio spectrum you see that we have let me zoom in you have our dots showing now as you can see over here right okay so make sure that you where you have your adjustment layer and uh and the video they are all positioned at the same point as you can as you have it over here as you can see over here fine or else you wouldn't see the audio spectrum point now let's click on our adjustment layer let's click on our adjustment layer go to our effect control panel let's change the audio spectrum the inside color and the outside color to white I think they are not centered very well so let's see let me center it here so that this is straight okay as you can as we have it here there are some values you need to also adjust over here we will need to adjust the maximum height also I will adjust the maximum height to 840 let's say 840 also we need to adjust the thickness to let's say a point of five or something let's say six is fine as you can see over here so let's move our timeline and see how it how the audio spectrum behaves okay but at least we have our pointers over here now let's change the let's change the uh, the uh, the source to the video you see so all right before if you don't change the source to the video because we formally we added the source as the adjustment layer so you need to change it to the video before we can see the the spectrum not moving so if you move our timeline you see that it plays along we see changes being applied to the spectrum okay it's quite good now so let's move back to our tv layer here let's move back to our tv layer here okay so what we can do now So we need to animate the the position for the TV. We want it to 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 come from the right side right onto the canvas. So it moves here and right onto the canvas. So let's do that. Let's click on our TV. Let's see. But before we can also do that, we need to parent the video. The video to the TV so tell that they move all in a group but before we can do that let's group the let's pre-compose or let's group or pre-compose the layer 2 and layer 3 together since they are all in one so let's pre-compose it by pressing shift ctrl c on our keyboard uh, let's say video let's rename it as video so let's parent it then together let's use our parent so if you don't have your parent link over here make sure that you click on this small there's a small expand uh, this work play around with the expand or collapse the transform control pa pa panel so that you can have it here so now let's parent it together so parents the layer 2 to layer 1 so let's parent so that they move together right so now let's apply the position so 
to or click on the the clock on the position let's move uh, 20 frames forward let's frame uh, 20 frames forward by pressing ctrl shift and the right arrow i'll make it three let's see okay let me can we, let me come right here let's say five frames there are 50 frames forward okay let's see let's see and 50 frames forward okay let's go back to the home let's say 20 frames forward okay you can also do that here so let's say home let's apply 50 here let's say 50 let's see what we have okay so let's drag it out let's make sure that the layer one is selected let's drag it out okay so let's so let's undo what you're doing i think there's a there's something you're not doing right here sorry let's press home on our keyboard to make that we are right at the end point let's click here on the button let's move uh, 50 frames forward let's auto also click here your point may be on this side but mine as you can see is right here so right on the last frame now on the first frame on the first frame let's move our tv out of the canvas so now let's select both keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease or press f9 for the short key. let's go to let's select all the keyframes let's go to our graph editor let's click here let's click here this button you want it to slow in as it gets in so it moves faster this is moves faster but slows in so let's play it and see what we have okay but here at this point and to move slow okay so let's move out of the graph of data let's do the size of our panel let's press n on our keyboard let's replay it and see what we have okay so this is what we have uh for in order not to bridge the copyright issues i will try and uh i'll remove the audio out of the video uh, for fear of being penalized so let's i'm just doing that first to avoid any youtube strikes okay okay so now this is what we have uh, what next we so you also want to hide the audio you also need to hide the word the audio you show it only when the tv appears in so on our audio spectrum Well, let's group the adjustment layer and also the video over here together by pressing uh, Control Shift C. Let's say let's rename it as our audio spec trim. So it only shows here only right when the TV appears. So let's move it here right here so let's play it back let's see
okay so this is what we have so let's save everything and then move back to our tv panel here oh i see there's a problem that we need to sort out because before the audio spectrum moves in we still have it showing here so all we need to do is to go here you need to go here you need to go back double click the other spectrum comp and hide let's hide the that over since we don't need it so let's go back and see what we have okay 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 i see the problem we need to we don't need the we need to hide that of the rectangle here we don't need it we also do not need the audio spectrum We're hitting the audio spectrum and uh okay let's go back to our let's let's see what we have over here let's replay everything let's replay everything make sure that you are not high uh, the the isolate panel the solo make sure that the solo over here is clicked Okay, there are also a couple of issues we need to address we still have is it most of the 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 the, the, the files that we we imported from our photoshop are still showing here but some of them we don't need so let's hide here let's hide the layer 2 let's go back here so we see that it's gone Ooh, but we will need to also animate the shadow okay, let's say let's move it along with the tv so let's go back what you need to do is we need to the tv shadow we need to parent it to the old tv that's the layer one so let's do that let's parent it to old tv let's go back here okay what we need to do is let's go back select none What we need to do is we need to move this layer out of this complex remove it out let's by pressing ctrl c to cut it out and place it here in this comp okay and add make sure it's out of the of the the, the keyframes that if assigned to the old tv make sure it's out of that then uh, what we do is now we let's move it down 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 to the last to the bottom and now we parent it to the layer one that's the t tv old one so that they move together now okay so now let's go back and see what we have So let's move our timeline. So we see that it's moving together, as you can see here. So they haven't moved together. But what happened? We, we, we see that we don't have our, our our audio spectrum showing over here. Let's see what what's really the problem is. Let's see what really the problem is. Uh, let me click here to see something our audio spectrum is not being shown okay it's not being shown because we hit it over here so let's see let's go back okay we have it being shown now okay so that one is also sorted out okay so now let's refer back to our photoshop file to see which other layers we need to animate 
Okay, so we are now left with the main uh, photo over here to animate. So let's go back to our after, our after effect. So we now left with the main. So let's go back to, so that's the photo over here. So let's solo that one too. So we need to animate it. Right, let's go back. Let's make it half. Let's make the resolution half so we can see it at a, at a high resolution at least. What we need to do is to move it down. We need to move it down, down below the TV layer just to avoid anything. Okay. So what we need to do now is to start an, an animating it. So let's double click the layer number three. There are certain things that we might need to eliminate since we will recreate it in a uh, after effect as especially with the the shadow that's the white borders around so what we need to do is let's let's delete it we don't need it so we'll create we we'll use our pen our own pen tool to move around to create a shadow effect around so let's press g on our keyboard let me zoom in further Okay. Let's scroll it down on content. I don't know why we do have two shapes, but okay, let's hide one and see. Okay, so let's delete the shape too since we don't need it it's only one shape that we're working around okay so let's see if we can uh before we do that let's go back to our zero timeline or zero one timeline so So basically we have our TV moving in at around right about three seconds, 22 frames. So let's note that. Let's move back to our photo layer right about 322. So we can start animating from, from that point. So we'll be using the, the, the stroke to animate we'll be using our uh, we'll be using uh, we'll be applying a uh, trim effect to animate so let's select here on here on the shape let's click here on the add let's add our trim path so we we'll use the end to animate so let's click here on the clock on the end let's move it 20 frames forward 20 frames forward or let's say 30 frames or 5 frames let's say 5 frames cool. so let's click here on the button again so let's move everything here to 0 down to 0 so let's move the timeline let's see what we have okay so we'll be applying a uh, an expression to that so that it's it loops throughout the video it plays throughout the video so what we need to do is to click on click and hold alt on your keyboard
you see this play button let's click there and go to property select on a type uh, we're using the loop out click that let's change the zero value to four so that it loops throughout the entire video so let's let's play it and let's see let's preview it let's see okay before we can do that right after we are done with the, the animation let's see let's click on the actual photo let's click on the actual photo you see where the anchor point is we'll be scaling the video right from that point we're we'll scaling it right from here so that it shoots up all we need to do is to press on the s for scale let's scale it down but we, but before anything begins we need to the photo needs to appear before the stroke effect takes takes place so for now let's click on the layer 2 let's see where we actually okay so let's say it shoots right from here now let's move it here right at 322 let's move all the effect that we've moved we've applied to that shape that the photo needs to appear before the stroke effect takes place so let's apply our keyframes here on the scale let's select here let's move five frames forward no 50 frames forward right sorry one two three four five 50 frames forward let's see let's apply another stroke keyframe here on the first keyframe you apply a value of zero so that it shoots from the center right up so after it shoots up then the stroke effect takes place so let's move the the keyframe right here let's select all keyframes and press f9 so let's preview what we have so let's preview what we have okay so when you go back to our zero one timeline let's play back or let's move it see what we have okay, starting from this point let's see what we have let's play it back let's see what we have okay okay referring back to our Photoshop file we are now left with the date and the venue to animate so let's go back to our so right also in this timeline we need to animate the date and the venue let's show that those ones let's show that layer that's layer one okay So we need to work on the date and the venue. Let's double click here. Zoom in. Let me just solo that of layer two. Okay. Most of what we'll be doing will be copy and paste. So let's, since they are all the same. So let's start with the date let's double click on uh, layer 2 but before we do that we will need to convert uh, layer 4 to layer 1 let's select it and convert it to text so let's click here create convert to editable text okay
Let's zoom in so we see where we are at this point. Clicking on this layer. Clicking on this layer, let's right click here on the point. Or let's right click here. Let's select here on this point. Let's right click and go to Max and Shape Path, select Set First Vectors. So we want to move our, our, we actually want our anchor point to begin right at this point. So let's select that again. So we have everything beginning here at this point. Let's solo that one out. Let's see what we have. Let's solo it out. So we want our anchor point to begin at this point. So our anchor point is placed here. As you can see, we don't need it there. So let's move it right to that point here where we set our face vertex. So at this point, let's on solo it again. Let's select that point. Make sure we, your move tool is activated. Let's click on that same layer. That's layer six. Press R for rotation. Let's change the value to negative 300. Let's click here. Let's move it three frames forward, three, uh, 30 frames forward, sorry. Let's move it 30 frames forward, or let's say 50 frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. So let's click the same, let's click here, right click and click on reset. So let's move it, let's see what we have. Okay, let's also apply a scale animation to it. Let's click here. Let's move it here. Let's click the same button on this point. On the first keyframe, let's set it to zero. So let's play back what we have. Let's preview it. Okay, cool. Let's select all the keyframes, right click it and select keyframe assistant, easy ease. Uh, on the last keyframe, let's move, let's search for our 24 layer, uh, 25, 20, 25 layer, uh, the text 25, it is uh, obviously layer 4. On that layer, let's move it right down to where we have it, where we have uh, our the shape that we just animated does layer six. So here, select on layer five, press Alt, right bracket. So now let's preview what we have. Let's preview what we've done so far. So after it, this box sets in, the twenty-five also will pop up, pop out. Okay. So now all we need to do is now to work on the layer four, which is obviously this one. We need to create a, a max. Let's create a max. Let's undo what you've done. Obviously, it already has a, it transported the max from Photoshop. So when you click on layer four, you press on M, you see that we have a max over there. We don't need that max at the moment, but before we do that, let's add some ruler just so we can mark our point. Let's press Ctrl R to bring out the ruler. Let's zoom in. Sorry. Make sure your, your move tool is activated. I just want us to remember our, our exact point. Let's do that for the other side too. Okay, so before we, we can delete the marks that was imported from Photoshop, let's, we've already set our point, so you can now delete it, let's click on max one and press on delete, 
delete it. When you delete it, this is what we have. It distorts everything for us, but never mind. We can sort that one out. So having layer four selected, let's click on the rectangle tool. Let's click on the rectangle tool. Let's we can now create a max around it. Obviously, this route will not help us. So let's undo what we've done. Let's undo what we've done. Let's undo it. Let's click on our max. Let's twirl it down. Select on the max path. Make sure the V. Make sure the move tool is selected by pressing V on your keyboard. We will need to delete this one and create a new. Let's delete all the layer all together. That's layer four. Let's delete it all together. Now we can create a new rounded shape, rounded rectangle, and after effect. So let's do that. Never mind. We'll sort that one out. So let's having it selected, click here. First of all, let's cancel it out. Let's undo everything we've done. Let's undo. Let's click here on the button to remember our color code that we use. Okay, fine. Now that we have set our color code, you can now delete it and create a new round rectangle, a rounded rectangle. But before we do that, let's give it a full color. Obviously, we will be using this fill color. Okay. We don't need a, a, a stroke. So we cancel that out. So we can now create our rounded rectangle. Exactly as we did have it before. So now let's move that shape down here. Okay, perfect. So now we can now, having that selected, let's create a max around it. Uh, obviously, let's use the, rect uh, the rectangular tool to create a max around it. Let's click on here. This with the uh, the tab that says this tab that uh, this icon that says uh, that says to create max. So you can now create a max around like this. Perfect. So now with our move to activated, let's select all the points for the marks that we just created. Let's move our our points here exactly where. Okay, let's say three zero three. As you can see on my time frame here, that's three seconds, uh, three frames. So now let's select the point on the left on the right side. Let's click, let's scroll down the max one, two, as you can see here. Let's scroll it down. Let's animate, we'll be animating the max path. So let's click on the little clock beside it. So as we move it, it's animate. Sorry, let's select it again. Let's select only those points on the right side. So now let's move it right up here. Okay, so we have our keyframes assigned to it over here in our timeline. Let's move 30 frames forward. One, two, three. Let's move it back again. It automatically adds another keyframe for it. So let's preview what we have so far. Okay, perfect. Let's, let me extend it a bit. So now let's preview it. Okay, so now let's animate the the venue and the uh, the venue and the centers, the CD and the centers. As we all, let me just say, let's animate from layer three to layer one. Uh, let's adjust the anchor point for 
the text Deben or layer three. Let's change it right here since we wanted to um, um, animate right from the left side straight straight into our uh, uh, straight into our canvas if i may say so let's click on layer three so on on a time five seconds uh, six frames uh, let's work it that let's twirl it down We'll be animating the text to let's click down let's animate the position uh so we will be using our uh, our x so that's from the from left to right so let's move it let's move it let's keep moving it right to the point let me zoom in right to the point where it hits the anchor point so let's move it let's let's keep moving until it it, it hits the anchor point here so let's keep moving it keep moving it okay i think this point is right let me zoom out let me zoom out uh, let's also add uh, a keyframe of uh opacity let's reduce the opacity to right to zero now let's animate the range selector so let's we'll be using the offset to animate so let's let's click the little clock beside it Let's change the value to zero, negative 100. Let's move 30 frames forward. One, two, three. Uh, let's change the value now to 100 so that we can add another keyframe there. Uh, let me extend this line. Now let's play all we have. What we have now? Let's play. Let's preview it to see what we have currently. Obviously, we are not doing something right, so we need to sort that one out. And let's see what really the problem is. Let's click here on the advanced tab and select a uh, ramp up to see what we have. So let's let's preview it. Let's preview it. See what we have. Okay, that there's a, a little problem we need to sort out. Let's sort it out. We need to move this. Make sure that this this line is actually on the point where we have our anchor point at this point. So let's play with the position values again. Let's keep playing at it till we have it right sitting on the on the right center at our sitting on the center of the anchor point as we have as we have it here. Yeah. So now let's preview everything to see to sort it out. Let's preview it. Okay, perfect. This is what we, we have finally. So what we do be doing right from this point is just copy and paste. So click on the on the hyphen button on the keyboard so that we can have it fully uh, we have our our timeline fully stretched out. Okay, what we need to do is to select right from this point just select right from this point right to the opacity let's press ctrl c let's move our timeline here let's select on venue and just press ctrl v to paste what we just copied let's move out by pressing the same iphone on the keyboard to move out now let's zoom in Let me extend this here a bit. Let's preview all what we have now. Okay. We can do that, that also for the other text. That's uh, layer one. So now let's press on the hyphen on our keyboard right beneath the escape uh, keypad. 
So let's select there on layer one. Let's press Control V to paste what we just copied. Let's move out by pressing the same hyphen keypad. So let's preview all what they have now. Okay, perfectly. So obviously we're doing that for the other layer since they are all, all the same, obviously. So I'll be, I'll be fast forwarding that aspect since it's the same uh, application we'll be using for that too. So let's start animating. So we need to offset uh, layer two so that they can play, so that layer, their, this layer will play first before the other layer. So let's offset it here. So let's preview to see what we have. Okay. Let's go back to zero one timeline to preview all what we've done so far. Obviously that the headline will need to come before the other the other elements. So so the TV, let's delay the TV a bit. Let's also delay the date and the venue. So, so basically this is what we have. Okay. So in our final, so in this tutorial, we'll end over here. So in the, the final session, we'll add our camera to see how everything finally ends up with. So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to be, to keep posted whenever we have any new tutorial uploaded thanks for spending your time with us ciao